you know, today everything is entrepreneurial this and entrepreneurial that. You know, as far back as I'm talking about, which I think is up to about 15 years ago, the entrepreneurial class wasn't really well recognized. We have a, a population that is really overshadowed by, at least at that time, by manufacturing. And the idea that you might swing the bat and start your own business uh, was not as popular. And so here was this organization that was built around that very idea that people could have that opportunity. There it was a allocation from the federal government for community development block grants. Emil Winokur, who was the program manager at the city planning department that dealt with CDBG funds, came to me and said, we have to allocate these funds. So I listened to Emo in his presentation. He was very passionate about it. His boss, Dennis Sykes, who was the director of the planning department, was enthusiastic for the program. I uh, sanctioned it going forward. When David Hollister became mayor, he started a community gathering regarding government and what should Lansing be doing. And I volunteered for that. It was a one or two day affair. And out of that particular event, I was then notified that a number of us had been selected to form a microenterprise fund. So that's kind of how it got started. It was uh, really the brainchild of some community people who convinced uh, Emo, who convinced Dennis, who convinced me, and that's how it goes up the chain of command, and we convinced city council. And it's been there for 20 years now. I got involved way back, and for me it was in the early days of Big B Coffee, but we were a struggling franchise company. And I had read an article in the Lansing State Journal about this organization that was giving out $5,000 loans to the Entrepreneur Institute. So my first relationship was picking up the phone and saying, I could use one of those $5,000 loans. And so I met this lady and uh, who was running it, and her name was uh, Denise Peake. So for the first five years, it was uh, getting the program very stable, getting the program recognition. We were more known for maybe our small loan program, but I also realized is you can't have people apply for funding or access to capital when they have no education in how to own, operate, and manage a small business. We changed the uh, training curriculum. It's really a guide that helps the entrepreneur go through that process which I love. Entrepreneurism wasn't just about folks starting a business. It was about training. It was about um, improving one's opportunity, you know, uh, you know, chances of securing a better job, uh, employable skills that uh, would just make a difference in their lives. It's all about seeing those entrepreneurs and seeing each graduating class and looking at them in awe and knowing the courage it takes for these people to start a new business. It's something that is just so inspiring to see. I see the graduates every now and again and they're successful and they're happy and they're satisfied and you can just tell that the programs have had an impact on their lives. I consider the entrepreneurs that came out of this program to be important as Ariel's was a hundred years ago. How it will work out over the next 20, 30 years, some of them will continue and grow and become something that we never anticipated. But that little micro loan that was there at the beginning played an incredible, important role. The person who's looking to be part of the Entrepreneurial Institute is one that realizes that they, there's more to learn and they just have that, that entrepreneurial drive. They can do it. For the organization to have lasted for the last 20 years with a, a volunteer board, uh, full-time staff of one, moi, you know, and part-time, three-quarters part-time uh, individuals along the way, um, I'd have to say I'm very proud of that. When I first started, our maximum lending amount was $10,000. and was restricted to the city of Lansing. To now, 17 years later, uh, we're an SBA microloan lender, and we can do up to $50,000, and we can cover all of Ingham, Eaton, Clinton, and Shiawassee counties. So that's huge. So to celebrate 20 years is, um, it's key. It's very key. I think in today's economy, it's even more important than it was 20 years ago when we first started the organization. We have realized over the last 
you know, 20 years that the more diverse economy is a more stable economy. People who start their own businesses really help the community be much more stable. It's quintessential to any community that people from any walk of life can take their dream and move it somewhere, do something with it, grow. That's liberty. That's happiness.